Hey, what's going on? Always before you here. I want to show you two bags um, that I currently have. I'm going to be returning this Big Agnes bag. Uh, this Big Agnes is the Mystic SL uh, 15. And let me just loft this up a little bit. I had a cat just come out and step on it. Uh, this is a Big Agnes Mystic 15. That's the long version. And the red one is a Western Mountaineering Summer Light, also long version. Okay. Uh, these are kind of like top tier bags. Uh, they're both a very lightweight, the Western Mountaineering exceptionally so. The Big Agnes is really light for its class of a semi-rectangular um, bag and a long version. The uh, Big Agnes site list the uh, this bag here at I believe two pounds uh, seven ounces and uh, the Western Mountaineering bag uh, by the way the Western Mountaineering bag is a different class of bag that's a 30 uh, they listed as 32 degrees uh, versus 15 for the mystic um, the Western Mountaineering bag is uh, comes in at one pound five ounces so big difference there in weight and that's why I do have both right now um, I'm switching up a lot of gear and uh, I really have always had roomy bags, and I was dead set on getting a roomy bag. And upon having it and uh, being in it, I just don't know thermally if it's, if it's going to work. Um, even though it has the 15 degree rating, and I'm really getting the, the ultralight bug. Uh, my pack is just too heavy, so I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards getting lighter gear and, and making that work, and hence the Western Mountaineering. So one of the things I just want to show you off the bat is um, I'm going to measure these because they have slightly different specs even though they're both long. Um, I have the feet here pretty much dead on. I think they're pretty much, yeah those are right on even with each other. It looks like the Mystic bag to me is just a tad shorter. Um, let me see here. I guess the manufacturer's measurements are going to be better than mine, but I get this at 79 inches from tip of foot to, to head, and the western just looks longer to me. And this might be important to you if you're a taller person. I'm six foot, but uh, I never like getting into the six foot bag because I just feel like I'm really at its limit and I, I like to move around a little bit. So this Western Mountaineering bag is coming in at about 85 and a half. So uh, there's definitely a little bit more um, on that Western, Neer Western Mountaineering bag. Being that they're both long bags, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the uh, camera off the tripod and I'm going to try to show you the loft. The fill on the Western Mountaineering is an 850 fill. They say uh, Eastern European down, which is apparently, you know, the real good stuff. And the Mystic is, um, I don't know if it's that Eastern European, but the Mystic is an 800 fill. So 800 versus 850. Now this again is not a real fair comparison because you have a 15 degree bag versus a 30 degree bag. But, I mean, these are just, you know, what I have in front of me. I'm going to be sending this one back, so there's not a whole lot online. Um, on these bags and I figured just just to get them on there and uh, give people a little bit more information so I'm gonna go low here and I'm gonna try to give you like a cross section and you can see the uh, foot box they give you some you know they're always gonna give you a little bit more there and so that's the Western Mountaineering and uh, this actually I slept in last night I just got it and I've been testing it uh, I just wanted to see how the fit was going to be. It's a whole lot tighter than Big Agnes, obviously. A whole lot tighter. It's like half the bag. Um, for me, my problem is in the shoulders. The foot box. And here, I got plenty of wiggle room, but I'm six foot. I'm only 165. But just my build, my, my legs are, are relatively slim, but my, my shoulders and chest are a little bit wider and bigger. So it definitely confining laying on my back. Uh, laying on my side is a different story. Laying on my side, it just changes the feel, and this bag becomes very comfortable, feels very roomy, uh, but not too roomy. You know, you, you don't want it to be thermally inefficient. 
what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put out a Nalgene bottle just so you can see a, a cross section of the loft and you see how it is dipping a little bit in the middle okay so it's kind of you know there's more up top there okay you could probably measure that out I think they claim it to be four inches of loft I guess that's at the highest points okay so a little bit less here and then you can see the feet at this end there's really a lot so that's good uh, one thing I just absolutely love is the fact that these bags here are, are made in the United States um, you know I'm not gonna if the bag doesn't work in some way I'm not gonna keep it for that reason but if otherwise everything is is good that's just that's just awesome that it's here but as anybody looking through these bags know you have to pay that premium for a made in the USA thing one other thing I want to note though is they they'll call a lot of attention to their quality control and their stitching and for whatever it's worth I don't know if you can perceive it in this video but this thing is really well done uh, I've noticed a lot of places where there's double and triple stitching in some of the high stress points um, some people might say oh you know it's too much thread but this thing is it's not hype it is built meticulously uh, it's it's really awesome the big Agnes is built really well as well but uh, some of the thing like the stitching um, it's very good don't get me wrong but I have noticed some places where I can get uh, some stretch and you know I haven't had down coming out which is really I guess the only important part but um and maybe you have to stitch it different because this is the quantum pertex fabric versus I forget what mountaineering uses it's different but you know I don't know I'm not a a, a seamstress or whatever you know I don't know maybe the stitching uh, the mechanics of the stitching has to be different on this material so it might not be fair to compare that versus this in terms of uh, how it's put together let me throw this Nalgene next to the Mystic again the Mystic is a 15 degree bag okay come in a little bit here and I have to say by far I like this quantum pertex the feel of it is awesome it, I absolutely love the feel of it more so than the Western Mountaineering and I don't know if it's just my perception but when I was testing out sleeping in this mystic it just seems like it breathes better I think it might be that material but I can't be sure I don't know if it's the material or if it's just the fact that there is so much more room if when I shift around the additional air is just you know taking the moisture up and this is stuff that you can get off Mystics, or not Mystics, Big Agnes's site. But you know, you got one of these uh, draft collars in here, and these are really, you know, really puffy and really awesome. It's got a nice, full, really well padded hood. You got your drawstring here, <clears throat> zipper. Uh, it's a full length zipper on the Big Agnes, and there's a, a secondary zipper down here, you know, so you can open up on the feet. You have the uh, a lot of uh, material here so as to not get it snagged. You see that? Look at how far you got like over an inch. Um, but it's insulated on the other side. They got down so it's not going to be cold. And then of course all Big Agnes bags you got the uh, the sleeve here for your pad. Okay. The Western Mountaineering. And these are both left hand zips. I'm just going to put this down for a second. Uh, really nice zipper opens very easily okay and um, it's good loft just has a different feel than this this one has I guess just there's more of it it has a squishier feel the quantum feels very different so to, to the touch they both have nice loft to them but you know a little bit of a difference they are different rated bags you don't have any draft collar in here you have a less aggressive hood when you cinch it down you can get it rather small but this is called a summer light bag. I know a lot of people try to push it, and that's what I'm going to try to do with layering or maybe a silk liner. But you don't have that real true winter head setup uh, as you would on a 15 degree bag. This is definitely a little bit more, um, it's going to be a little bit cooler. 
Okay, so the next thing I want to do is, if I can get it done, uh, I might just be able to get one done. I want to show you how small they pack and I want to weigh them for you. So I'm going to put the camera back on the tripod and I'm just going to do it here. I'm not going to skip it. You can skip it and just get to the end if you like, but I want to show you about how long it takes. Okay, so there's two different stuff sacks. The, um, Western Mountaineering could fit in an extra small, and the Big Agnes fits in a, I believe this was a small. So let me first show the, uh, the Big Agnes bag. What I like to do is fold it in half first. This is just, this is just what I do. I like to fold it in half, and then, you know, I like to roll it, and then try to stuff it in the sack, really. Of course, getting out as much as you possibly can. And if um, you know, if you're not familiar with down bags, I mean, these are two high-end bags. So if you're just looking for a bag, you stumbled across this video, you may be shocked when you you see the pricing of them. Um, this bag retail was like around four. I had got it on a on a sale for a uh, hundred dollars off, so it came in right around three. And this bag, I think it's like 325, and I had also got a little bit of a coupon to get it to like 280. So these are not cheap pieces of equipment, um, but as anybody who is into uh, backpacking or camping will tell you, a good high quality down bag is going to be light. And one of the things is it's basically an investment in that you can have it, if you care for it, you can have it for decades, 20 years, 30 years. Um, it just doesn't go bad. Uh, the loft is really what we're talking about here. And if you take care of it, don't let it get wet. Um, you know, when you do have to launder it, do it as per the manufacturer's specifications. If you do all that right, the loft, which is what's keeping you warm and keeping the bag, the bag, will continue to, you know, expand over the years, much as it did when it was new. So this is uh, rolled up and you know, I like to get the stuff stacks just big enough, and it's not the easiest thing in the world to get in. And you try to, you know, I don't want you don't want to get the stuff stack too big, but on the flip side, um, you got to be careful when you put it in here because you know, to get it into these small stacks, you really got to push it. And you want to be careful with your zipper, what you're pushing on, and with your stitching. So, I mean, you, you can't be dainty about it, but you've got to kind of get a feel for where you can push and where you can't. So that goes in relatively easy. And then we're going to zip it up. Okay. And this uh, Sea to Summit stuff is actually nice to attach on one side. So then all you do is kind of flip over the top and you cinch it down. So I'm just going to get all sides started here and then I'll show you how small this can get and I'll throw it on the scale. And then I'm, I'm going to probably have to put the Western Mountaineering in a, in a separate short video for the packing and the weight of that. So let's get this going. to kind of do, you know, opposite sides. I don't know if it really matters, but that's just what I do. And, uh, you can cinch this down all the way. You know, I might have even been able to go smaller, but I don't think I could get it into a smaller bag, but I can pretty much lock out these cinches so that they're all the way down. And I feel like I could even go further. But, I guess it's as small as you're going to get it. <clears throat> so here's the bag in a Cedar Summit. I believe this is a small stuff sack. Oh yeah, there it is. That's a small. And um, this is the regular material, so this is a little bit heavier. I think this thing is three and a half or four ounces perhaps, maybe even more. And with this one I went with the Ultra Sill, so it's an extra small size and it's also a lighter material. This is a, a two ounce uh, stuff sack. Let me get my scale and a bottle for comparison purposes. So here's a um, here's the pad. 
or here's the pad, here's the sleeping bag, and here's the Nalgene. You see? About dead even on height. You know, of course, it's going to be larger in that dimension. And just, just for a reference point. But it's, uh, you know, it's definitely a small, small item. It's totally packable. And this should come in at two pounds, uh, nine or ten ounces. My scale is not the most accurate. It does go down to the ounce. It's for fishing, and uh, I've cross-referenced it on some known values, and it seems spot on, but it doesn't go to tenths or anything like that. So we have. Uh, let me make sure this is in view. You got two pounds, nine ounces. Okay. <clears throat> so that's the Mystic SL15, and I'm going to stop the video here, and I'm going to roll up that one. I'm going to show you how much smaller it gets, and I'm going to show you what it weighs in at in that other stuff sack.